the substitution and income effects. Before we start, okay, I would encourage you to pause this video and read the write-up okay, that has been posted on uh, our blog okay, and also download a copy of the mind map okay, which is available on quickonomics.wordpress.com So after reading the blog post, you should be having a slight understanding of what the substitution and income effect is about. So let's talk about the combination of both effects, okay, which will give you the total effect. Okay, and the total effect is the dynamics resulting from a price change or an income change in a world where we have two goods. Okay? So the total effect is broken down into the substitution effect and the income effect. So let's talk about the substitution effect first because that is what uh, as consumers go through first. So the substitution effect is changes due to a relative price change where the consumer's real income has not changed yet. Okay? And the income effect okay, would be changes due to purchasing power of the consumer uh, due to a change in this real income. So by breaking down okay, the total effect into the substitution effect and the income effect, we are able to define okay, uh, the type of goods, which is X and Y. So most of the time, we will be focusing on good X, and Y will be there just for to aid us in our analysis to be a, a control element. So uh, what are the type of uh, economic goods? Okay, We have a normal good, inferior good, and given good. And these goods, okay, X and Y, they can either be complements or substitutes. Okay, so uh, we will be going through uh, this type of goods in the next video, and it is important for us to know how to identify the substitution effect and income effect before we can tackle uh, the definition of these goods. Okay, so <coughs> let's start with some notations first. In the previous video, we have already learned about uh, the budget constraint and uh, how we should be 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 identifying the points on the graphs and uh, just to take note right the initial equilibrium would be point a okay and after the substitution effect we will reach point c okay the reason for the c and the small little h over here is to so show that this is the substitution effect okay for the hickson definition of real income and this C over here is where the substitution effect under the Hicksian uh, definition of real income has brought us to. Okay, followed by the income effect for Hicksian to, to point B. Okay, same for the Slutsky effect. Okay, so there's from point A to point C. Okay, CS, and this is the substitution effect first, and then the income effect. Okay, uh, point B will always be the same. Point A, point B. Okay, it will be the same for both the Hickson and the Slutsky's uh, definition of real income. Okay, because we'll be doing two kinds of analysis for both of their definitions. Uh, the only difference would be the the, the, the size okay, of the SE, IE for both uh, definitions as well as point C. So, uh, we will start A to C, that's our substitution income, uh, substitution effect, and from C to B, that will be our income effect. So, this from A to B will give us our total effect. Okay, so um, let's move on to the Hicksian definition of real income. Okay, so Hicksian's definition of real income, all right, okay, is in terms of utility. So when we talk about utility, we think about the indifference curve. Okay, so with this chain of thought here, okay, it'll be easier for us to understand how to draw, okay, the Hicksian substitution effect and income effect. Okay, so we'll always start with the um, initial budget constraint and indifference curve, uh, initial equilibrium at point A. Okay, and so what we are going to do is we're going to drop the price of X. Okay, so before we can identify any change, we have to change uh, something, you know, which is X, the price of X. So let me just blow it up for you so that you can see clearer. Okay, uh, I will be using the color pink. Okay, to show you the uh, substitution effect, and I'll be using purple to show you the 
the income effect. Okay, so step number one. All right, if you are wondering how I managed to draw this, uh, this uh, indifference curve in such a way, okay, I actually use a protractor. Okay, so um, maybe you guys can go buy a, like a protractor so that it'll be easier for you to draw your indifference curve. Okay, and I can't find my protractor right now, but um, it's a, oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, so I use a protractor to draw this. All right, so let's start. Okay, so I decrease the price of X. Alright, so what happens when the price of X decreases? Okay, I would shift, rotate my budget constraint outwards like this. Okay, over here. Alright, uh, you know what? I'm going to be using blue for this. Okay. Like this. Alright, so this is step by step. Alright, then we gotta put in our new notations. That would be I not over PX1, where PX1 is lesser than PXO. Uh, sorry, PX not. Okay, so the first step. Okay, what we're gonna do is we are going to draw, okay, a parallel line, okay, uh, on the indifference curve, which is ten, which, which will be tangent to the indifference curve. Okay, so. This is called the imaginary budget line, alright? Okay, the the blue one that I've drawn uh, just now is called the new budget line. Okay, so I'm going to draw the imaginary budget line, okay, which is going to be tangent to the indifference curve, and it is parallel to the new budget line. Okay, so we will call this line the imaginary budget line. Okay, so yes, it's parallel, and we'll mark this point here to be point C under the Hicksian definition of real income. Okay, so um, I can now mark out my substitution effect. Okay, so initially our little individual here was at x0 and so the substitution effect has brought it up to x1. Okay, so from this point to this point okay, is the substitution effect under the Hicksian definition of real income. Okay, and now uh, we have to decide where point B is going gonna, is gonna to land. And the thing is that uh, depending on whether it is a normal good, given good, or inferior good, okay, uh, that will determine where point B will land. But we will only be tackling that in the next video. So let's just give, uh, let's just have an example. Maybe he will land here, okay, because that's where his indifference curve has brought him. So just let me show you how I use my protractor. Okay, so. Yep, assuming that's tangent, and uh, yep, we know that the indifference curves cannot uh, cannot intersect, so you just gotta make make sure that when you draw it, it doesn't look like it's gonna intersect. Okay, so now I'll mark out the income effect. So we know that the income effect is from C to B. Okay, so we're just gonna draw a vertical line down here. Okay, we call this x two. Okay, so from x1 to x2, this distance over here, this is the income effect under the Hicksian definition of real income. Okay, so here we have it. We have the total effect, okay, here, which is broken down into the substitution effect and the income effect. Is that easy, alright? Okay, so with that done, let's move on to our dear friend, Slutsky, alright? <coughs> Okay, for Slutsky is a little bit more confusing, okay, but uh, no problem. Okay, now his definition of real income is in terms of the initial bundle. Okay, so when we when we hear the word initial bundle, okay, we think about point A. Okay, so that is a chain of thought, alright, point A. Now, the reason for a different type of analysis, the reason for a different uh, definition of real income is because of this. Alright, so take a look at this. Under the Hicksian definition of real income, okay, uh, if we come up with the budget budget equation, which is the price of x multiplied by quantity of x plus the price of y multiplied by the quantity of y, okay, uh, a and c. This is point a and this is point c. So initial point and after the substitution effect, you will realize that sometimes uh, this this equation doesn't add up to this. So um, I, I might I might have more okay under a than c because of the price change and, and, and quantity change and things like that. So, uh, what, sluts, what this Slutsky guy is actually worried about is that uh, under the Hickson definition of real income, uh, I do not really have the same real income because of a change okay, in, in the actual income that I get. So therefore, uh, a, new, a, new, a new type of analysis is required. Okay, a disclaimer, do not use a Slutsky analysis unless the question states so. Okay, so, 
let's move on to the Slatsky analysis. Alright, same thing. Alright, big chart for you. And uh, we're going to decrease the price of X. Okay, so here we go. I0 over PX1. PX1 over PY0. Okay, so now uh, for the Hickson definition of real income, what we have done is what we did just now was to draw a parallel line, okay, tangent to the indifference curve. But that's not what we're going to do right now. We are going to draw a line parallel to the new budget line that cuts through point A. Okay, remember what we talked about just now? The definition of uh, real income for Slutsky is the in terms of the initial bundle. So that's why we're gonna. Make sure that it cuts through point A. Okay, so this is your imaginary budget line. Okay, so now uh, from point A, okay, what we're going to do is we are going to use the indifference curve, okay, and we're going to bring it up, okay, onto the imaginary budget line. Okay, I know this is a little bit small, but uh, just bear with me. Okay, we'll call this uh, mu1. Okay, so over here, point C. Alright, so now we have got a point A and a point C under the Slutsky's definition of real income. So, same thing, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a vertical line downwards. Okay, x1. We move this way. So, this is the substitution, uh, substitu substitution effect for the Slutsky's definition of real income. Alright, and then now we just add a point B somewhere here. Okay, and. This is the income effect. Okay, so now uh, that that is the difference between the the Slutsky and the Hickson analysis. Basically, it's where point C lands. Okay, so that is the only difference. And uh, just to summarize everything. Here we go. We have a summary of everything. Okay, the price of X has gone down. Alright, uh, the blue lines okay, will show the Hickson effects and the, uh, the orange line will show the Slutsky effects. Okay, uh, I will be uploading uh, uh, this picture okay, onto the website so it will be free for download. Okay, just really take note of where the point C lands, that's the, that's the most important part. Okay, so these are the basics for the Hickson and uh, Slutsky uh, substitution and income effects. You know, it's really a mouthful saying all these words, but uh, I hope that you, have underst you can understand this. Uh, in the next video, we will be talking about how to identify whether uh, good X is a normal, inferior, or given good, and whether X and Y are they complements or substitutes. Alright, so think, uh, keep a lookout for the next video, and I hope you've enjoyed this.